as Luis Ortiz toes the slab for the Buccos. Well, another opportunity here for Luis Ortiz. He was added to the taxi squad yesterday, activated for this one, his 11th start of the year at the big league level. Recall from AAA Indianapolis, a hard thrower. The thing is, though, command has not been his thing. Had been one out of five last night, so one for nine in the series. It's a chase. Fastball heavy to start. And Alec Burleson is up next for the Cardinals. Got to find a way. How about a bunt? Delay, stumbles, recovers, throws to first, high and down the right field line. Burley's going to take the turn. He's on his way to second. And man, oh man, they read your script. A bunt single throwing error, and you've got Burleson at second base. Three words going through the mind of Alec Burleson right there. I am speed. Drops this bad boy down, tries to take advantage of an opportunity, tries to find a way. Delay lost his footing. Then lost the throw, and Alec Burleson trucking along. Burleson is on for Paul Goldschmidt. Pitch. Hammer toward right center. That's down for a hit. It's going to score Burleson. Here he comes, and Goldschmidt takes advantage of a Pirates error. It's 1-0 St. Louis RBI number 66. Here's Arenado. And this next pitch misses Badly, and it's first and second. The two on for Wilson Contreras. Struck out with the bases loaded last night and got kicked out of the game by Brennan Miller. And he got ahead two strikes and lost another hitter. So the Cardinals have him loaded here in the first inning with one out. He's loaded now. Back-to-back -back walks. And here's Andrew Kisner, who homered the opening game of the series. Strike three called. How do you like that? This is 96, just painted after he has been all over the place. That was Picasso. The rest of the innings looked like Jackson Pollock. Palacios hit his first Major League home run last night. Driven down the right field line. That ball is fair and headed for the corner. That's going to score two. The Palacios party continues in Pittsburgh. He ambushes the first pitch. Drives home two more, and the Cardinals lead 3-0. First pitch, he's not wasting any time. He sees the strikes. He wants to do some damage on it. That's exactly what he does. Third walk of the inning, and again, the Cardinals have him loaded. They'll bat around here in the first, and what an opportunity for Mason Wynn. Swing fly ball center field. Bay and Palacios. It'll be Palacios, the right fielder, to take care of it. Inning ends. Cardinals bat around and get three. Through a half inning, 3-0 St. Louis. Alec Burleson made it to second on a throwing error by Jason DeLay. And that's taken low. Another walk. Four of them for Ortiz in an inning and a third. And Goldschmidt's coming up. He singled home Burleson his first time up. And another walk. That's five in the game. Two on, one out. Brings up Nolan Arenado. Hammer toward third. It did have a hit in it. Down the line. That's going to go for extra bases. Takes an awkward bounce off the side wall. The Cardinals are going to get two runs out of it. Nolan Arenado with a bases clearing double. Not only does it not kick out to left field, but Reynolds has to chase it back toward the rolled up tarp. I don't know if we've ever seen that before. With no play at the plate. It's a two run double for Arenado. Jason DeLay, the catcher, bats from the right side. He's hitting 278. Little pop up, shallow right field, and Jason DeLay has done it again. Continues his good hitting against lefties all year. He's playing third base today, striking out his first time up. Bouncing ball, headed up the middle. And Jason DeLay will go to third. Hayes is motoring for second. He will be there. That is big. You get into scoring position, a base hit can score two. He sees his ball go through, and he sees that the center fielder, Palacios, is playing him a little bit further into right center. Kind of pulls up for a second, and all of a sudden goes, hey, I got a shot at a double right here. So the Pirates have the bases loaded for the first time, and Connor Joe will bat with two outs. Oh, and now he's hit. That'll bring home a run. Hard way to earn a ribby, but the Pirates are on the board. And that loads the bases for Andrew Kisner, who has struck out and grounded out in this game. Ground ball. It is six, four, three. Ramirez gets the double play and gets out of any further trouble. And to the top of the order and keep Ryan Hayes. Swing and a deep fly ball, right center field. Palacios back to the wall. He leaps and it's gone. Home run to right center for Key Brian Hayes, number nine, and the Pirates within five to two. That was well hit by Hayes. Hayes staying hot, not just getting hits, but driving the ball and getting in the air. Key Brian Hayes clears the deck. 
with an opposite field home run. Amazing to watch Hayes these days. Oh, this one, 103 and a half, point four miles an hour off the bat. Right in that right center field spot. That's where you want to go this time of year. So two extra base hits for Hayes down today. Paul Goldschmidt on base three times. Three at bats against Ortiz. Oh, that one hurt. And Goldschmidt takes a base. He gets plunked. Well, Ramirez has missed high and inside. He's missed low and away. He's been all over the place. Wilson Contreras, who has walked twice and a fly out to right field. Now it's really picking up. A downpour here. Maybe going to let one more pitch go by, see what happens, see if they get the out. He will oh, almost did. You can tell that's what Mark Carlson is hoping for right now. And now time is going to be called. Will this delay prompt Carlson to? Yep. That's going to yeah. do it. Time for the ground screw to come out and bring out the tarp. So at 2.28, a delay with a count of three and two. Well, we'll take a timeout and keep you posted here, but it's going to be a little bit of a delay. I'm kind of surprised we're resuming. You look at the weather map, I don't know how it's happening, but this is it. So a chance for the Pirates to bounce back and uh, maybe get a comeback win. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> a one pitch strikeout. And a one hour, 32 minute delay has ended. Loaded up for Jason DeLay. One for two against the lefty starter, Zach Thompson. Chopper, short. Throw to first base to get the out there. Good work. Run in. It is five to three. Five to three, St. Louis. And McCutcheon coming up, 299 career home runs. Line drive, left field. Andrew McCutcheon's going to have his third double of the game. Rope that one into the left field corner. McCutcheon on base all four times. Three two baggers for number 22. Here's Connor Joe. And he's hit again. 79 miles an hour. Two aboard. And it's Joshua Palacios. Tying run on first base. Gap ball in this game is most likely tied up. Did he go? Strike three. Two outs. The over Piguero has a couple of hits and has scored a run. In the air, shallow center. Palacios on the run, still coming. He's going to get there, and that will retire the side. An infield hit and walk sets it up for St. Louis. And now Walker a chance to pick up an RBI or two. Broken bat roller towards short. They'll have to hurry to get two. They'll only get one. So win is up. He's got a single. And he chops another one toward third. They'll have to hurry to turn this. There's one. Blaze beat the wrap and picks up an RBI. Two infield knocks for the Cardinals. And St. Louis adds on. It's a 6-3 game. Here's Brian Reynolds 0 for 4 today. Line drive. Base hit playing very deep. And his first hit of the day, Brian Reynolds singles to left. Now the tying run out on deck. Joe needs to get on to keep it going. In the right center field. And a diving try, but past the center fielder Palacio. So the run will score, and it's another double for Connor Joe. It's a two-run game. Well, now the Pirates will have an opportunity with Joshua Palacios. Broken bat. Shot towards second, the throw to first, and the Cardinals have won it. And the Cardinals salvage a game in this three-game series, beating the Pirates today 6-4. to four.